I'm just doing a little demonstration on a Terrarium TV. Um, I find that they keep saying you got to use Yes Player, Yes Player, less ads. Um, I think Yes Player is definitely not the player to use. Uh, a lot of uh, buffering or bad links or just it, overall just a bad experience using it. And every time uh, Terrarium updates, uh, it doesn't matter if you use a different player, it always goes back to default of Yes Player. So you just always need to go back in and uh, set up your player of choice. And my choice for player on Terrarium uh, is MX Player. So when the you know Terrarium boots up and we have uh, you know the screen here, everybody likes. Um, let's say we go up to the top, the hamburger symbol. So we're gonna click the hamburger symbol, and you get your TV shows, movies, favorites, TV calendar, downloads, other and settings. So we're going to go to settings maybe it's thinking here we go settings as you can see here uh, choose default video player it says yes player so we're going to click it um, and you're going to choose the option uh, MX player uh, VLC works uh, great as well um, but for me, I always choose MX Player. And there, now we have MX Player. Um, there's going to be some uh, Terrarium uh, updates where it doesn't give you the option to choose, uh, but it will be an option when you go to play a, a show or a movie. Um, other things I change in here, let's say you uh, don't like cam versions, you know, all that stuff so let's say filter out cam version links if you go over there and, and check that mark off now it's not going to look for cam versions if the link is a cam it won't show uh, some people like that feature because you know it's just less um, less stuff to go through when you're trying to find streams that work uh, choose default action always ask you to set that up uh, there's other options in here. Resolve links immediately, yes. Auto resolve HD links only. Um, <clears throat> you can check. It's check mark now. Um, you can uncheck that if you wish. Um, but, uh, oh, excuse me. Let's say we keep scrolling down. Uh, playback. Uh, TV choose default navigation. Uh, TV shows choose default show category. Um, me trending is fine, but I always like uh, to go with the recently updated, and that way when you open up uh, Terrarium, automatically you'll see the TV shows and the recently updated episodes that they just uh, uploaded to the server that day. Uh, choose default movie cat or engineer. Uh, most popular, Let's, I usually change mine over to the new HD releases. Only because I just want to watch HD, HD movies. I don't want a movie uh, popping up and go, oh, that's a great one. You click it and it was just a cam version. So this way I just get to see the new release for HD. Uh, and I keep going down. Now there's a couple more things. Uh, traditional Chinese, I always uncheck that, and simplified Chinese, I uncheck that as well. That's for uh, subtitles, and then I keep going down, and I click uh, auto backup before updating. So I check mark that, and you can choose a backup location right here, backup favorites, but if you do a backup um, on an update, and during the update it crashes and all your favorites and stuff is all gone so with the backup you can actually once you install a new version of Terrarium then you can just go back to the backup folder and re, uh, reinstall all your favorites and all your backup uh, it's actually a nice little feature uh, dun -dun. and that's it so I'm gonna go back out uh, movies HD releases, 
like I set it up for and okay and now when you go to play a movie or a TV show for the first time after setting up your player you're gonna get this message right here so I always don't click off don't ask again and then you gotta click more ads and actually I think it's less ads by using MX player instead of the yes player so there uh, just a little simple setup of your Trium TV and you pretty much have to do that every time there's an update. Okay, thank you.